scored like this in a long time. We got a 750 piece chase, got the Skyline, the SVO, and then we got another chase GT500. Yeah, I already went through everything and that's pretty much it. So, stoked for the SVO though. But they do have this, but I'm gonna hold off on that one. Really want the Skyline. So there we go. All right, guys, today we actually scored some goodies. Not a lot, but it was definitely worth going this morning. So I always go shopping on Sundays early in the morning for groceries. We did find some more castings I needed for the collection. And here is the first one, guys, the new recolor of the 84 SVO in this beautiful silver metallic. Check that out, man. That looks really good. You have the nice red interior, love in the orange deco for the stripes. And of course you have the black hood scoop right there. But dude, this thing is very, very clean. I actually like this one a lot better than the purple. The 80s, I love what they're doing with this, man. It just looks really good. And like I said, I think it's much better than the purple. Even though the purple and silver looks really good together, I'm just really liking the color scheme for this. Very clean, very subtle, but there we go. Got the 84. I did grab another of the Skate Grom Tony Hawk one. My other one's card's a little jacked up. All of my Tony Hawk Hot Wheels are carded, and I kind of want to keep them that way, only because of Tony Hawk and the roots I have with skating and all that. And then next up, we did get the new recolor of Nissan Maxima Drift. Now, this color is beautiful, but I don't think those wheels look good in chrome. That is just my honest opinion. I think they looked really good in the gray on their first release, but really do love the color of this. You got the really nice lightning bolt style stripe right there on the side with some gold pinstriping. Do you have Hot Wheels in Japanese? And then of course the see-through hood, which I think is an awesome feature to this. So another awesome freaking wagon right there. I think that looks really good. It's just the wheels that are a little off. And then next up guys, the new Team Transport. You have the beautiful Liberty Walk R34 Super Silhouette. And this thing looks so good, man. Check that out. Red and black enamel with the Advan and modal for the motor oil on the side. Dude, that thing is so sick looking. I definitely, definitely wanted to grab this over the Cuda, which they did have, and I just, man, that thing is awesome looking, but I did leave it behind, and the Porsche 962, I'm pretty sure that is one I've had already. So, uh, yep, number 17, I've actually had that one for a while. But the Super Silhouette and the Cuda have not been in our area. This was the only R34 on pegs. And of course, I absolutely love this one, man. That looks so good. Finishing up with the M2 Chase, guys. Look at this. This is the 71 Dodge Challenger RT 383 in this beautiful, like, canary yellow. Look at that. Hold on, let me get a better grip of this. This is the larger scale, but man, that looks good. Canary yellow with the white RT stripes, white vinyl top, and then check out the engine detail, man. Of course, you got the Hemi block crammed inside. Actually, I shouldn't say crammed because they had a lot of space on these big body cars. But there you go, 750 pieces on M2. And just to give you guys a tip, if you don't see a sticker on here, and you're just curious, kind of like how my Mach 1 is, that one was kind of a subtle chase because of how dark it was. Um, this one would easily be overlooked only because you have the black chrome accents. Um, and the only thing you can see is the 500 piece chase, but all of M2 chases have the mirrored base right there. So you can see how it's all mirrored. The other ones are diamond plate. Actually, those are all chases. That's Chase, you can see the polished or mirrored base. They all have the mirrored ones on there. But if you didn't have that, it would be this base right here. Let me pull it out for you guys. It would be this style, the diamond plate for the M2s. 
So in case you're ever wondering, a quick identifier, of course the chrome accents in gold, red, or whatever colored chrome they use, but the mirrored base is what tells you it's a chase. But man, that thing is gorgeous. Definitely not a collector of mini Mopars, but a chase car like this is definitely one to have for the collection. So alongside this guys, we also have a mail call and this is from Jesse's Diecast Garage. Now this is a trade we're working out. I can't wait to open this up and get my eyes on it. You guys already know rabbit holes is what I'm good at. And of course this is for the NASCAR collection, which is steadily growing. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So Jesse, thank you so much for working this out. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, let's see, what do we have right here? Says Jason the Mustang Hunter. So here is the latest casting NASCAR I found. I thought you'd really like it. And something extra, nice. Oh, and something for your daughter. Dude, thank you so much, man. She definitely appreciates all the love she gets. Happy holidays, my brother Jesse at Jesse's Diecast Garage. Dude, thank you so much for always thinking of the little one. And like I said, guys, rabbit holes is what I love. And here we go. Oh, there she is. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. It's the Dale Seniors K2 of the Ford Victoria, man. The 1956. But this has the solid pink top. Whereas you guys know the apricot top is what the original version of his car had. And I do have that one right over here. So that way you guys can see this is the apricot top version of it so there we go a little bit different on the wheel setup of course you have the rubber wheels on this one and plastic goodyears on that and then coming around it looks pretty much identical everything else is the same same chrome bumper it's just the top variation interior is the same and it's just a wheel variation so dude so freaking sweet, man. Gotta clean that out, it's a little dusty. So we'll put the K2 back over here and dude, that is so sweet, man. Check out the card art for it. You rock, so thank you so much. Now the funniest thing I was reading up on the K2 and the reason why it came out pink was totally by accident. They were trying to actually match the color of the apricot top, but when they mixed up the paint and sprayed it, it came out pink they left the roof as it was and the body the way it was you can see right there it has the apricot top pink body it's because they tried to match the roof they just got the color wrong and it just came out super pink so that is how dale ended up driving a pink car so dude freaking awesome man all right let's see next up oh dude she's gonna freaking love it Look at this custom, dude. She is going to love this, man. Look at that lift kit. Dude, that is nice. Very, very well done, my man. Beautiful pink, dude. Oh, dude, that is nice. Love the pink accents on the interior to tie in the body. Wow. I actually really like this, dude. That is freaking awesome. She's going to love it. 100% totally digging that. Oh, that is nice. All right, let's see. Next up. Yes. Oh, man, you are freaking awesome. Look at that. Oh, that is sweet, dude. That is freaking cool. Daytona International Speedway, February 15, 1998 wow that is awesome that is definitely a great freaking piece oh you definitely didn't have to do that man but i greatly appreciate it i'm gonna have to reorganize a lot of this because i really want the dale stuff to be more visible than like a few of these other ones like we can probably swap shelves but dude that is sick man that is freaking cool thank you so much for throwing that in there so here we go guys awesome little trade from jesse's diecast garage for the dale earnhardt and of course he threw in the little dale figurine that is totally awesome thank you so much and of course the custom so that is pretty much all we have for this video guys there's not much going on i didn't go out peg hunting at all um, because of the blizzard but we did score some goodies which i'm stoked for the chase 
for the 71 Dodge Challenger. And then of course you got the Super Silhouette, the SVO added to the collection along with the Nissan Maxima Drift. Of course, another Tony Hawk, but still got a lot of organizing guys. The track came out really good. I absolutely enjoyed our last video and the feedback I got from you guys, which I greatly appreciate, was the fact that this turn was too dark, especially on when you guys were watching it on TV. So what I did was I got some LED mounted lights to go over here, they're just touch. There we go. So now that is no longer dark. It's nice and lit up. So you can see the difference with it on versus off. So big difference. Thank you guys so much for the input. And like I said, I'm gonna be adding some better lights. I thought those were gonna be a little bit brighter which they're not, so I was kind of disappointed on it, but I only paid, you know, like eight bucks for them. That is all we got for this episode, guys. So if you enjoyed it, give it a huge thumbs up, and of course, comment down below. So until next time, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.